Hello and welcome back to The Rules of Thinking with Richard Templar. How are we doing today, guys? Hope you're well, hope you're safe, hope you've had a good day. Um, so yesterday we went over rule number 20, which was be in the present. Okay. Life in the present is technically the only kind of life life there is in that moment. Do you get what I mean? In that moment of existence, in the present moment, like right this second, yeah? Everything that happened in the past, like, that, that, that's up here, yeah? That, that's not my current environment now. And everything I'm imagining for the future, like, that, that's not my current environment now. Do you know what I mean? So I think living in the present as much as you can is a very empowering and freeing kind of feeling. So definitely try and live in the present as much as possible, yeah? Enjoy your life, live it, make every second count. You're never gonna get it again, (laughs) yeah? Enjoy it. So, rule number 21 today, stress is optional. I agree with this one, I agree with this one. Like, just a general rule that I follow is if it's not gonna matter in five years time, then I'm not going to spend more than five minutes worrying about it. So um, let's see what Richard's got to say. Here's a rule I learned from my son when he was sitting his GCSE exams at school age 16, and for which I'm extremely grateful. This particular son is a very laid-back character, not overly inclined towards effort if he can see a less effortful approach. I like this. (laughs) He would describe this as economical. It is. I have in the past come up with other descriptions. Either way, the effect of this was that he approached his exams in a calm, relaxed fashion without anxiety. He told me, I just don't understand why everyone else gets stressed about exams. Exams are bad enough already and getting stressed only makes it worse. So why bother? Exactly. Stress doesn't solve anything. Stress doesn't solve anything. So I'd rather aim my energy and focus towards solutions, 100%. I patiently pointed out to him that not everyone was born as chilled and easygoing as him. People aren't choosing to get stressed, I explained. It's something that happens to them and they can't avoid it. Mm. I think everyone can get stressed because we can come across stressors in our environment, in our daily lives, but whether we allow that stress to overwhelm us or not, I think we can choose that. But it set me thinking, maybe he was right. Maybe stress is a habit we can unlearn. I looked around all the people I knew who were either highly stressy or notably relaxed. And I wondered if my son might be onto something. Now, I'm one of those people who is intermittently stressed. That is to say, I can get stressed fairly easily. But once I'm over it, my stress rating resets back to zero until the next time. I'm not in a permanent state of underlying stress. I decided to try out the rule for myself. So I did. And I've hardly been stressed by anything since. The results have been dramatic. I discovered that whenever something frustrating or upset, upsetting or otherwise stress-inducing happened, my brain just flipped into stress mode without waiting to be asked. Interesting to observe. My thoughts immediately started to revolve around how much worse everything now was and all the bad ramifications of the thing that had stressed me and how much time it had wasted, and how difficult it would now be to sort it out. My brain was looking for reasons to feel stressed or to justify it. It would head off down thought streams whose sole purpose was to ramp up the stress. And another thing, suppose I had to phone the electricity people about a miscalculation on my bill, a very minor frustration in the scheme of things. My stress would ramp up thinking it's taken them 10 minutes to answer the phone, and now they've put me on hold, and... If they don't sort this out, the electric would be cut off. And I have to go out in 20 minutes. And I won't have time to do all my emails first. And, and, and. Fascinating. Because it's all quite unnecessary. Half of it hasn't even happened and probably won't. I was just constructing worst case scenarios and then reacting as if they were already true. So now I just stop the thinking. If I can solve the thing, I do. If I can't, I block all those pointless thoughts. I refuse to think them, and I tell myself that life is bound to have glitches, and here's one right now. A bit like mindfulness, eh? Yes, Richard, go on then. 
No need to make it worse by getting stressed. I don't do stress anymore, I remind myself. My mantra, if I need it, is all the people I love best in the world are fine. And that's what matters, 100%. I give gratitude every day for just happiness, health and strength for me and all my people. Like, yeah. So now stress, as long as all the people I love are okay, is a thing of the past. And if I can do it, so can you. 100% Richard, I've got to agree. I've got to agree. My attitude personally is, if something's meant to be, it'll be whenever it's meant to be. So if it's not in my direct control, I ain't worrying about it. I just worry about whatever I can directly influence and control. Do you get what I mean? So I'm, I'm just trying to master myself. And yeah, like I don't, I don't really stress. <laughs> it's, it's a pretty good feeling. Live in the present. Stress is optional. I like it. The moral of the story... Life is bound to have glitches, and here's one right now. <laughs> Interesting. I like that one. So, let me know your thoughts. What do you think? What are your interpretations? Um, let's talk about it in the comments. Let's grow this thing. Share with anyone you think could find this useful, please. And um, I'll see you tomorrow for the next one. Cheers. Have a good one.